Now, first of all, um, you look very, very rich. Are you rich, man? <laughs> um, Rich, rich is relative. No, no, no. rich is rich. Um, <laughs> rich, rich, you look rich, sad, is, rich, is, rich, is, rich is rich is rel relative. I, I haven't bought my private jet yet, so. He's a talking man. He's a talking man. He's acting the talking man. He knows, he knows what he wants. So. <laughs> I haven't bought my private but, jet um, yet, so I'm um, not yet rich. Now, on Mondays we try and inspire people. Okay. Because that's the goal for Mondays, and I hear that back in school you read computer science. Yes, I did. And so, um, in because today we have calls, we have everything. Now, what was the journey for you? How did this idea start? When did it start? And what do you do in a nutshell? Um, um, like you said, I read computer science. Okay. Um, after school, I served. Um, I relocated to the US. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I relocated to the US. And um, in 2010, I came back home um, okay. for holidays. And I knew, okay, yes, I asked what everybody was doing. And most people were either doing makeup or doing something related to weddings. So I, I, I saw more, let me say, I saw more of a vision that, okay, yes, this industry um, was going to be um, the answer to jobs at some point in Nigeria. Okay. Um, so what happened was I went back and I started working on a magazine. And um, the, we started with the magazine, that was Wed Magazine. And um, after that, we started, we started with, we, we went ahead to do Wed Expo. And um, it's just been like that. So we've had different, um, different brands but on that. What that. do you do specifically? Um, in the... In, in, this, the, in this space, in this space, I I would say like um like you like you rightly said we don't I don't plan weddings I don't um I don't plan weddings and um, basically what I focus on is the business of weddings so everything I do has to do with the business of weddings either expanding the business of weddings or pushing out businesses that are into um that are into weddings, weddings so okay. basically everything we do is around the businesses and, of weddings and it's, it's amazing how this this industry has has boomed. It's almost as, as big as the Hollywood, sorry, non Hollywood <laughs> industry. <laughs> um, <laughs> because uh, why is that? Now, people do pre photo shoots. Is that part of your, of your deal, too? Um, people now have posing in Gotha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people should be posing. People jump for, for parachutes. <laughs> It's amazing. Yeah. People, uh, so it, it's, 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 it's growing. And um, I always tell people, like, this is not the peak yet. You think so? Uh, no, this is it's not just the peak it. yet. This is, this is, we're just starting. Um, it, because if you look at it well, if you Im if you can imagine how many um, weddings are going on now, or how many uh, or how people take um, into consideration they are saying wh what comes up on their weddings, you can now imagine when we as young folks now want to do weddings for our own kids. Wow, nice. So you can imagine what would happen nice, then. Nice. So we are really just starting nice. because our parents didn't have wedding planners. They didn't have um, they didn't have all what we have right now. You understand? But they so, are still hiring yeah. these folks for, for weddings. So you can now imagine hmm. when we grow I'm getting it. It's going to be a it's, big boom. It's, it's, it's actually an unending market. But then, um, two questions. First of all, will I say you came from a pop background? Not really. We can't say because you're, you're too clean. But then, do you have struggles in getting here? Oh, of course, of course. Um, I, I, I didn't come from a rich background, not but, at all. But, but we, not, we know, we all. know that you're a fresh young man. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but, um, but so, what were the struggles? What was um, it about? Um, struggles as regards the, as in what I do. Yeah, the wedding expo, trying to, trying to birth this imagination of yours. Yeah, like, like basically, like when I started, then um, you had lesser businesses than we have now. So it was more of you really had to surround yourself with the same set of people. Um, but I knew that wasn't for long because it just after our first exhibition, you know, we saw a lot of people come in and say, oh, OK, if this person is doing this, I can do it too. So what we also do at the expo is it's, it's also an avenue to um, inspire a new set of people to go into the industries. Now, now you see people finish school and everything and they're chasing their passion. So that is what the wedding industry has created. You know, you don't have to technically go do your nine to five. Of course, there are, people, there are even a lot of people that do nine to five and still do, and still yeah, do, and still do businesses. But there are also a lot of people, instead of waiting and applying and they don't get jobs, you know, they just chase their passion. And I know a couple that have done pretty well for themselves. You know what? Very soon we'll go for a break. But before we go for a break, give me a figure. How much do you think is what this industry in Naira? <sighs> 
I would say, I would say it's, I would say it's in, it's in the billions because if you look wow. at, if you look at, um, wow, let's take for example, <laughs> let's take for wow. example, let's take for example, um, a hall on the island um, would cost you close <laughs> to two million. Wow. And you can imagine how many Saturdays we have. You know and what? How many I, weddings I can't we imagine have. that yet, man. <laughs> My man. <laughs> we don't do business together. <laughs>
Okay, okay. He, he heard what I said. He studied uh, computer science in the University of Bini. So he's yes. now using computer science in many high schools together. <laughs> <laughs> um, something like that, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, before I go, what's the idea about your magazine? What's, what's the magazine all about? Um, the magazine is, um, it's, uh, it's basically teaches brides on um, different aspects on how to plan their wedding, um, different tips, new ideas. And um, now we're moving more towards um, um, an, a, an, a wedding guide. Um, we're moving the magazine towards more of like a wedding guide that will come out once a year. And um, the first one will be in 2016. And um, it's going to be everything you need to know um, before. So it's... If, if words would permit, uh, more of like a wedding Bible, um, whereby you'd see everything you need to know about your wedding before you even start the process. Oh, fantastic. So that way it prepares uh, uh, you. Mr. Hackey, Mr. Hackey, hold on. I'm, I'm looking into my crystal ball and I'm seeing a very nice question to ask you. Um, why is it that young men like Pope and Dr. Foy don't get married early? <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 you might need to look into the crystal ball again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from, from, from what I sent with the wedding Bible in quotes, mm -hmm. do you want to kick out events planners? Is, is that a plan? No. You see, the event planners are not there because um, the bride doesn't know what to do. Okay. They are there because the bride doesn't have that time. Wedding planning is like a second job. Seriously? It is a second it's job. It's exhaustive, huh? It is. Like for, like for my own wedding, my wife pretty much just showed up. I was the planner. I, so I, I did all the running around because I was the wedding He's person. He's such a good <laughs> so, guy. So, <laughs> my wife out there, don't play. I will, you, I will show up. <laughs> <laughs> so so my, wife, my wife, of course, we discussed what she wanted and all, and you know everything happened just, this, just, just the same way she wanted. But wedding planners, the book is not in any way going to take away wedding planners. It would also... It would actually even guide the wedding planner and the bride to make sure... But then sure you know, this to try and high price, it will cut their, their costs. No, we, it will cut their costs. Not, not, not really. Like, we, we aren't doing anything. We're not going to be doing anything in the book as regards pricing. Okay. So it's more of enlightenment. And this book we're talking of, we're, we're going to be working with several wedding planners to make sure we have the perfect piece. Okay. So it's not um, just my head and the heads of my editors. We're going to be working with several vendors. So it's more of experience, including plus me. broad knowledge, including Pope and including um, Dr. Foy, of course. Yeah, and Dr. Foy, Foy too, you know. <laughs> and and, um, so <laughs> it's, it's going to be everything you're looking for. The, uh, all in one, all in one um, 365 page. So, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now.